Hey guys, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a sprite sheet into a Battle Cats unit. So first, you want to get your sprite sheet. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Saitama sprite sheet, which was made by Hacker93 on DeviantArt. If you don't know where to find some sprite sheets, you can go to sites such as spritersresource.com, spritesdatabase.net, DeviantArt, and Sprites Inc. But that is just if you want Mega Man sprites. But what if your sprite sheet does not have a transparent background, which most don't? So that is what I'm going to show you real quick. So you want to go to this website and download the latest version of paint.net. So once you installed paint.net, you want to open the sprite sheet you downloaded. Then you want to navigate to the magic wand tool. And then you want to turn the tolerance down to 0%. Then you want to click the space that you want to delete, and then press backspace or delete. Then to save it, you can go to File, Save, or Control S. And then press OK. Warning, this does overwrite the original file. So if you rather make a copy, you can just push Save As or Control shift s and choose the save location of the new file. Now when you're in Battle Cats Ultimate, you want to go to Configuration and make sure hitboxes are enabled. JOGL and 60fps should also be enabled too. Now you want to go to the Sprite Editor. Then press the Add button. This will open up the File Explorer and you want to locate your edited sprite sheet. And press Open. Then press Unit Enemy. Now you have your sprite sheet. I usually name this box Nothing, and then add a line. You want to select the second line, and change the height and width to 100. Now you'll see this big red box here. You want to drag it to create your first sprite. I want to start off with the walking animation, so I'll choose this one over here. So to resize the box, you want to hold control and left click at the same time. So now you created your first sprite. So now you want to select the box and add a line. It will make a box of the same size and you can drag and resize it. So yeah, just repeat this process for each one and you successfully cut out your first sprites. Now you can repeat the same exact process for the attacking animations. Also one thing I find helpful to do, that I highly recommend, is giving each individual sprite a name. So I put W1, W2, W3 for walking. And then I name the attack sprites A1, A2, A3, A4, etc. Now I'm onto the hitback animation. And usually the hitback animations are not animations at all, but for this one I want to make an animation. Now I'm going to make an idle animation. And like the hitback animation, you don't really need one. But I want to make one.
Now that I'm done cutting out all my sprites, don't forget to give your model a name. Now press the model editor button. Make sure your model is selected and press add line. Now in the second line, you want to change the image to anything that's not the nothing one, which is a zero in this case. So most sprites face to the right, but Battle Cat's units face to the left, so you want to change that by pushing the mirror button. So to make your sprite a little larger, you want to go to scale X and change it, and then scale Y and change it to the same exact number. And just keep messing around with scale X and Y until you get the size you want. Now just position your character to the middle. And now you want to add another line. Set the image to the nothing one, which is zero. This third box is just for an extra hitbox. You don't really need it, but I like to add it. Now you want to go to the animation editor and select walk. And in this box, you want to set modification to two and set the part ID to one. Then give it a name, which I'll give walk. And this is where the sprite names come in handy. So now you can see W1, W2, W3. So just count it. It goes up to W8. So you just want to add eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then W1 starts at one. So then you want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now since Battle Cats measures time and frames, you kind of just want to experiment a little bit. So I'm going to try 2 frames per image. So now you can see the animation looks like this. And uh, that's a little fast for my liking. So now I'm going to increase the time. So now the walking animation is now slower. Now let's move on to the idle animation. So you want to click the add button. And again, change the part ID to 1 and the modification to 2. I'll name it idle. And then I'll count how many idle frames I have. So I'm going to add 15 lines. And the first idle frame starts at 29, so I'm going to put 29, 30, 31, and so on. Now I'm going to set the frame times. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the attack animation. Now finally I'm on the hitback animation. When you're done creating your animations, push custom animations. And now you can view all the different animations here. Now let's make an icon. So first, pause it on a frame you want to make an icon out of. Make sure this is set to default, and then press the icon button. Now drag and drop this box over your sprite. And when you're done, press confirm, and then press OK. 
Now press the icon button again. Now change the box type to Uni S. Now press the icon button again. Reposition the box to your liking. And then press confirm when you're done. Now go back. Now let's create the stats for the unit. Press custom pack. Choose a world that you want to create the unit in. And then press custom unit. So now scroll until you find your character. Select it and press the add button. Now you can add multiple forms to a unit, but for this unit I'm going to stick with one. So now rename your form. And press edit. Now you can edit the stats of your unit to your liking. You can also use the import button to copy any stats or abilities from a unit. So all you have to do is type in the name of the unit you want, select it, and then press back. Then press OK. Now the same exact stats from that unit are now on this unit. If you push the enemies button, you can look up any enemy to put their stats on your unit. But I don't want to do that so I'm just going to push cancel. Also, do not enable strong hit, because if your unit already does a ridiculous amount of damage, strong hit multiplies the amount of damage done, but Battle Cats has a limit to how much damage you can do, so the attack will literally do nothing. Also before playing a match, don't forget to turn the hitboxes off. Okay, so that is the end of the tutorial. I know that was a lot, but I just want to help you guys out. So thank you for watching, and if you would want another tutorial on something else, then comment down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.